Welcome to Part 2, Section 1B, Review of the Registry Functions. In this section, we will show you where the registry is located, how to run a query, and how to set up different types of registries. Okay, let's begin. Let's familiarize ourselves with the registry location and function. On the left panel, click the Registry button. Here we see several icons, including the Registry icon and the Quality Measures icon. First, let's click the Quality Measures icon. Clicking on the Quality Measures icon opens a new screen that allows us to generate a Quality Measures report and view our performance on the CDSS and PQRI measures. As we mentioned earlier, these quality measures have been predetermined and hardwired into the system and cannot be altered by the user. Let's run a report now. Our run date is December 2nd, 2010. Click the More button to select the date from the calendar. Next, select the appropriate measures dictionary. We have quality measures and respiratory infections listed here. Choose quality measures. Under measure name, we will select blood pressure control in DM. Once the measure is selected, we see an explanation of the values used in the calculation of this measure. Let's run this report on patients seen in the last year and click submit. We see our performance measure numbers generated in the space below. We can run exclusions by checking this box. The report shows us that exclusion is not applicable. Next, we will run a cross tab to break down the report by race ethnicity. Click Refine. Now we see the breakdown of patients meeting the measure definition by race and ethnicity. Highlight and click White Hispanic and a window opens to view the specific patients included in the measure calculation. Here we see the ID name, sex, and date of birth for each patient. The green color indicates that the care for this patient is in compliance with this measure. Now try it. Now let's review the registry function. Click the registry icon on the left navigation bar. There are several tabs on the screen to help us define our registry query. Let's run through a simple example. We will create a registry of all patients aged 18 years and older who do not speak English. Under the demographics tab, enter 18 in the age range search box. Leave the second search box blank. Click run new. This generates a list of our existing patients in our desired age range, 18 years and older. Our search criteria are noted in the space below, and we also see that our search generated a list of 208 records. Next, select English from the language pull-down menu. Click Run Subset Not for Patients Who Do Not Speak English. This reduces our list to 193 patients who do not have English listed in their demographics. Let's pause here to highlight an important point. Only structured data is searchable in the registry. If the structured data is not used to enter information in the patient's record, or if in free form and typed text is used instead, that information will not be searchable in the system. In this example, it is likely that language has not been recorded in our patient demographics so our registry query results may cause us to conclude that 193 out of 208 patients do not speak English. Unless the population served is predominantly non-English speaking, these results would be misleading. Demographic and clinical data must be entered in a searchable field to optimize the benefits for meaningful use of the EHR and registry functions. Now try it.
This concludes Part 2, Section 1B, Review of Registry Functions.